Welcome students. Today's geometry lesson is about finding the area of rectangles. Now, <clears throat> uh, just to review, area measures the size in squares. So we're measuring in squares, like how many squares fit inside a shape. So here we have some rectangles and I can count how many uh, squares fit inside. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, but of course that's a very slow way uh, to measure the area of something, right? I'd have to count all of those squares. That takes forever. <clears throat> Last year we learned a shortcut uh, for measuring the area inside of a rectangle. So we noticed last year that I can uh, measure the height of the rectangle, or rather, first I might measure the base of the rectangle. I might count that it is one, two, make this a little bit straighter, shall I? One, two, three, and of course, one, two, three, four. Uh, the base is four units wide. So I can say the base is four. All right. So I know that there are four across, and I can also find how high it is, right? How tall this shape is. I can count one, two, a little bit longer just to be able to measure it a bit easier. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the height is five. <clears throat> so what I've done now, right, is I've measured how wide the base is, and how tall the height is, and by measuring it, notice what I've created. I've created all of these squares inside. I have five rows of four, or four rows of five. Of is a multiplication word. When we see that word of, it gives us a clue that this might be multiplication. So what we know is that we can multiply the base times the height to find the area. So in your math notebook, let's just go ahead and write that down. <clears throat> to find the area of a rectangle, measure the base times the height or rather multiply multiply the base times the height times Or we can write that down with some, uh, this kind of shorthand here, uh, which is, let me make sure you can see that, there we go. <clears throat> Multiply the base times height. Make sure you have that in your notebook, that note there. And we can also use this little equation here uh, to, to kind of show that idea. Area equals base times height. A equals B times H. We're gonna use this equation as a way to uh, to record this uh, idea. Um, it's kind of like a shortcut, this equation. See how we're using these letters to represent these words? Area equals base times height. That's the, uh, the equation to find the area of a rectangle. This week, I'm going to practice with some rectangles and uh, find the area of those rectangles. Um, so I'm gonna have you do a, a couple things. The first thing I'd like you to do is to draw uh, a few rectangles in your notebook and use 
the area equation to find their area. Um, and uh, I'd like you to do a little practice. We'll do a little practice in IXL where uh, we are uh, given some rectangles. We know the base and the height, and we need to multiply them to find the area. Let's take a look at what that will look like. So here we have a rectangle with <clears throat> uh, five units. That's the base. That's across. Five units across and three units uh, tall. That's the height. Three units tall. So it would be... <clears throat> Let's go ahead and just record that, right? So the base equals five. The height... <laughs> the height equals three. So, the area will equal base times height, or 5 times 3. 5 times 3 equals 15. That pen on IXL just isn't the same as Notability, is it? All right. That was 15 square units. All right. Um, so we're going to practice with this, uh, just these rectangles this week. Next week we're going to, we're going to try uh, something new, but for now I just want to make sure that we review these, uh, the area of a rectangle, and make sure that we are confident about that before we move on. Have fun with this. Let me know if you have any questions, and I can't wait to see your work.